Hi, this is Thomas Lafote with the Instructional Media Center, and in this tutorial we will be looking at adding page numbers to a multi-page InDesign document using master pages and special characters. To begin, open your document that needs page numbers. Then open your Pages palette. If you don't see the Pages palette, it can be found in the Window menu. Double-click the A Master Page icons at the top of the Pages palette. I'm going to zoom in on the bottom corner of the left page by drawing a box with my magnifying lens tool. After zooming in, select your text tool and draw a text frame for your page number in the bottom left corner. Using the text options at the top of your screen, select your font, and your point size, and now we are ready to insert our page number. Select Type, Insert Special Character, Markers, and Current Page Number. This will display an A because this represents that this is taking place on the A Master. The font and point size can also be changed just like any other text in InDesign. Resize your text frame and make sure that you leave enough space to include any numbers that may be involved. This creates a page number for the left pages. To create the page number for the right pages, we just need to duplicate this box. I'm going to zoom back out to fit the entire spread in the window. With my text frame selected, I'm going to choose Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste. This gives me a new text frame with a new page number. I can move this into place, select my text tool, and adjust my alignment to the right-hand margin. After you are done editing your page numbers, you can then use the Pages palette and double-click back to your document. Now we can see that the page numbers have been applied to all of our spreads. Often, you may not want to include the page number on the first or the last page. To fix this, select Page 1, and from your Pages palette, click and drag the None master to the first page. This applies no page master to the first page. We can scroll down and then do the same for our last page. Now we can see that both the first and the last pages do not include page numbers. In the Pages palette, you will also know that the A that indicates the A master is not displayed on the last or the first page. By default, page numbering starts with number one on the first page. If you wish to start the numbering on page 2, double-click page 2 in your Pages palette, open the Pages palette menu, and select Numbering and Section Options. Here you can choose to start the page numbering at 1. When you click OK, you will receive a message that says this page number already exists in another section. This is referring to page 1, which is our cover page, but when we click OK, you will notice that a new section is started with page 2 and the page numbering counts up from 1 starting on page 2. If you have any questions or comments related to this tutorial, please leave them in the comments below. Or you may contact us by visiting library.msstate.edu imc.